we really want it to be high quality efforts, like, like significantly above threshold. Mm -hmm. Um, the athletes got to be pretty well trained to handle mm -hmm. that load. That's okay. to really do that workout. Well, you've got to have a very high level of fitness. That is a good aerobic base and a well-trained, well-trained glycolytic system. So you can, you can keep that lactate level from spiking too much and not be swimming in it. Cause if you're trying to give someone VO2 and you really want them to have higher quality efforts, that is power output that's above threshold and you shorten the recovery too much, then you're at risk of them just blending into a VO2 effort or mm -hmm. sorry, into a threshold, threshold effort. effort. Yeah. Which maybe, maybe that's what you want is to really put them underwater a couple of times to get their body to respond. Mm -hmm. Um, depends on where they're at and how sharp you want the knife. So to mm -hmm. speak, if you're further away from your event, you might do that and just say, look, this is gonna be rough, man. I want you to just, so this goes into the conversation about RPE. This is why it's valuable. When I write a prescription, I might say something like four by five and I'll just say maximum. I want you to go as hard as you can for four by five. And, and then I get lots of questions. So many cool. questions. Right. I was like, smiling as you're saying this. Like, <laughs> does that mean that I go as hard as I can for a minute and then like, you know, just totally nosedive and, and then I'm hanging on for dear life after that? Does it mean that I have the highest average over all four efforts? Like, does that mean I'm going really easy for the first minute of each effort? Um, like, you know, what cadence should I do? Like, should I be bleeding at the end of, out of my eyeballs at the end of every five minute effort or just the last one? You know, should I negative split the last one? Like there's all kinds of ways people play these games. And part of this comes back to a concept that one of my mentors, Matt Walden taught me, which is about the second simplicity, right? The first simplicity is when you start to learn a new complex topic, whether it's cycling or golf or I don't know, algebra, you, you're like, yeah, this is, this is pretty easy. You know, you go out and ride your bike. And then you learn all the things like, oh, you could do one minute intervals and you can do five minute intervals and you can change your cadence and you can go, you can do intervals on flats or uphills and you can stand up out of the saddle or do seated. Wait, there's time trial bikes. And you, you figure out the millions of nuances and then things get really complicated. The second simplicity is when you realize how many common variables there are between all these permutations of choices. And really at the end of the day, four by five maximum, two and a half minutes in between. So part of this is I, I'm stealing this from Siler. Let the athlete solve the equation. You give them the prescription and you see how they solve the equation. So there are two, there are two beautiful things there. One is you get to learn how your athlete views intervals and what, how they solve that. That tells you a lot about their mentality. It tells you about their weaknesses. It requires you to look, it requires more thought. You have to look through the data and be like, hmm, okay, I see they went out way too hard in this first one and then they tanked and then they kind of hang on for dear life. And then in the second one, they, they went way too hard for about 20 seconds and then they remember what happened in the first one. You know, you can kind of read all the little yeah. mental battles that happen in a workout like that because that's a hard workout prescription, like four by five maximum. When you have a driven athlete, that's a hard ask. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. requires motivation, requires freshness, right? We were there, driven athlete. I mean, some athletes is not even worth giving to, but the, yeah, that's a- Agreed, love that. agreed. So I let the athlete solve the equation, but I'll, I'll give them a little bit, if they're really poking and prodding and they're super lost, it's like, okay, you got to give them a little something to chew on. 